Buzz here with your practice problems. We've got a softball field, and we're going to find out how long the fence is. So let's jump right in. Uh, first of all, easy parts. Uh, th this is like we're home right behind home plate. Uh, this is fence, so we know that we have 250 as part of our fencing part. This is a perimeter type of problem. We also have fence running down this line, this foul line. And that's the same as the 250 that goes that way. So 250 plus 250. We know we have at least 500 just from the straight lines. The hardest part about this problem is finding uh, the length of the outfield fence, which is a curve. And it is uh, part of a circle. Now, if you imagine this as an entire circle, you would understand that it's a quarter of the circumference that we need. It is a, a quarter C, which I'm going to call it. So um, we need to find the circumference of the full circle and then divide it by four. That's my strategy. So let's let's find the circumference. Is, um, we need circumference. We need diameter. But we're given radius. How do I know that I'm given radius? Because that's the 250. You know, full circle, that would have been halfway across. So the radius is 250, which means the diameter is 500. And it means that the circumference is 500 times pi, or 500 pi. But we only want a quarter of that, so we have to divide 500 into quarters. Uh, so if I take 500 and split it up into quarters, that gives me 125. So if the, if the full circumference is 500 pi, then a quarter of the circumference is 125 times pi. And it wants to know about how long, so that means it wants us to approximate for pi. So we want to do 125 times pi. It's already in my screen, so I'm going to multiply it by pi. So that's 392.5. 392.5. So let's recap. This is 250 for the fence, 250 for that fence. And then the 392 comes from uh, starting with the radius of 250, doubling it to get the diameter. Okay, So that was a times 2 relationship. And then we multiply diameter times pi to get the circumference. But that would have been the entire circumference, which we do not want. We only want a quarter of it. So we took the 500, we divided it by 4, and that gave us the 125. And the pi just kind of took a ride along. Right? And to approximate the about part, we just had to do 125, which is a quarter of the 500, times pi. And that gave us uh, the answer 392.5. So now we just got to add those, those numbers together. So 250s, two of those make 500, so I just need to add 500 to this. Add 500, and we get our answer of 892.5. 892.5. And uh, we'll do part B on the next video. It's kind of a long problem.